The following video is a recording of a workshop I did yesterday for Leading Ladies Toastmasters Club. It's a hands-on workshop on Canva. If you would like to learn how to use Canva, open Canva and follow along with the video. Welcome to creating brand compliant content using Canva. And today I want to focus more on Canva, less on branding, though I will touch upon it, but I really want this to be an interactive session. And for me to fine tune my presentation and my workshop, I just want in the chat for you all to tell me whether you are a Toastmaster or not. I am more interested in how many non-Toastmasters are there in this workshop. Most of you all are Toastmasters, which means the core of my topic today, the core of my workshop is, though it's Canva, but also branding, why branding is important, why we should keep sticking to the branding. So I will touch upon branding, but most of the work will be interactive. So if you have Canva on your laptop, if you are logging in from a laptop, please go to Canva because I will be guiding all of us through a simple exercise. And at the end of the exercise, at the end of this 80 minutes or so, I will ask you all to post your results, what you have achieved from now till those 80 minutes in the chat. And those who have come very close to what we were doing, I will declare them a winner. Maybe not now, but later on it will be announced. And as you leave this meeting today, you all will be presented with a survey do leave your name and your contact details so that the organizers will be able to contact you and if you have won, send you your certificate. How does that sound? So if you have Canva, do keep it on, go to Canva and we will start our workshop very soon. In fact, I was a little uh, afraid to come to this uh, workshop because in fact, Leading Ladies has a very dynamic and very creative PR and let me show you her work by the way. So this is a poster created by Maimuna. Please give her a round of applause. If I was to choose a top-notch poster, this would certainly be it. So that is what we are trying to achieve in today's session. Before we do that, let me just give you a brief intro about myself. Once again, welcome to this workshop. My name is Kajitan Barreto. I am a Toastmaster. I am a certified trainer. And most importantly, I am a photographer. And I love photography to the point that I used to be called the official photographer whenever I used to attend any events. Then pandemic started and I then took all my photography equipment and I converted into a YouTube studio and that's where I've been doing for the last one year creating my YouTube channel Tech for Toastmasters do check it out I post a lot of content related to Toastmasters specifically technical training to get the most out of this, out of this session do keep your microphone muted I will unmute you all on a need basis whenever it's required but do put your queries in chat whenever we are discussing something and you don't understand to put it in chat I will ask you to unmute maybe if required else I will respond to the query directly okay so what are we going to discuss today is creating brand compliant posters we'll talk briefly about the brand manual but mostly how to get all of the assets that we need when we want to create the content from the brand portal the Canva design elements, how we can create very simple, very easily in Canva, a poster, whether it's for Toastmasters or even for non-Toastmasters. I will go through some editing techniques to make your life easy. And finally, I'll show you how to share, save, collaborate. And most importantly, as I said, if you do it hands-on as I'm showing it to you, then what will happen is you will be able to share it in the chat so that others can also see what you have done within the period of one hour that we are going to spend today. So let's start with Canva. First of all, what is Canva? Canva is one of the easiest tools to create designs very, very quickly because everything is ready-made for us. 
And secondly, what is Toastmasters? Because Toastmasters has all of the brand elements also ready for us. So if you are a VPPR, if you are creating some content for Toastmasters, my recommendation is don't waste too much time on creating posters. Use what is available. Use the content that is already available to you. Pick something from Toastmasters, pick something from Canva, mix and match, and your designs are ready. So that's why I focus on branding because it helps us to speed up our design whenever we want to announce something. And Canva, of course, is first of all, it's easy to use. And secondly, it's free. In fact, I have a paid account of Canva, but for today's session, because I want to make sure that whatever I do here can be done in free account, I'm going to use the free account to, for this presentation. So if you have gone to Canva and if you have created an account, if you not, please create an account. If you have already created an account, we start by creating a design. So when we say create a design using this button here, we have choice of creating different kinds of design, poss possibly 100 different choices. And you should make this choice very carefully because especially if you are using a free version, if you create a design, let's say for Instagram, which is a square shape as all of you know, and later on you want to post it on uh, some other channels, it might be difficult or if you create a poster which is A4 in size like a normal A4 paper size and then you want to post it on Instagram you will have problem because Instagram always wants a square shape so depending on where you want to post it you should choose the right design I find for example Instagram post to be the safest choice because when you create a square shape you can post it on Instagram no problem and the same thing can be posted on Facebook or WhatsApp and it will be fine you won't have any problems okay but again it depends on what is your option for this particular exercise we are going to choose something called Facebook post we are going to use this one so again if you are creating along with me this design go to create a design and choose Facebook post by typing the word Facebook here and choosing this option Facebook post okay and you should get something like this shape so we are going to have something like this okay I'm going to open uh, existing shape design because what we are going to do is we are going to recreate this design in that uh, post in that uh, Facebook post design that you have created so if you all have a blank page it should be something like this so we are going to try and recreate this poster in your blank design and whoever gets exactly as close to what I am doing as possible as I said you will share your design with us at the end of the session and we will create uh, we will declare the winner so first of all I'm sure most of you all are aware that whenever we create something for Toastmasters, it should follow certain branding guidelines. And what are those guidelines? The first thing that we need to worry about is colors. What are the colors that we can use when we are creating content? We cannot just come and put any color that we want. For example, I want to make a poster. This color looks nice for me but I can't use it in a Toastmaster brand, branded content. You could use it for your personal use, but not for uh, Toastmasters. So when it comes to creating the right colors, you should always go to your brand manual. You'll find the brand manual in the Toastmaster website and always refer to this for the colors that we can use. So we have these three primary colors true maroon loyal blue and cool gray and we have something called a uh, happy yellow but it is called an accent color can somebody in the chat tell me what do you mean by an accent color what is your understanding that happy yellow is an accent color highlight details okay don't know tabasum okay 
use for text in the king all right so let's understand what is a uh, accent color so first of all we have the blue this is called a primary color that means when i'm creating a design i can have a background the full uh, background of this design in blue uh, or as it is called a uh, loyal blue that's the name of the color i could use this one which is called the true maroon also it is a primary color and we have something called the cool gray also a primary color so this three colors that you see here I mean clicking on one after the other these are your primary colors of those masters you can have any one of these three colors and you can also have white because white is considered by default as a neutral color it's the color of a paper so if you were printing something on the a4 paper it's always good to have your background as white because you will save ink imagine if i was to say my ba um, background is black and i print this my printer will start crying because all the ink will get over so if you are going to print something it's always good to have it as white or blue or the loyal blue or the true maroon or the cool gray so what's an accent color accent color means it's a highlight color it's only to highlight certain things in your design it should not be a background color i hope uh, so whenever you are like creating any toastmaster design please don't use yellow even though it's a brand color as your background don't use black as a background simply because it doesn't make sense for black and yeah this is because it's an accent color so how can i use the yellow if i for example want to highlight certain things i will come to elements later on but suppose i want to have certain attention uh, to grab some attention i could use the highlight color or the accent color so i hope it is clear to you now about the colors that we have loyal blue true maroon cool gray primary colors and white happy yellow for accents and black maybe for text or some small uh, again to bring attention to something but not for the main colors okay so we will look at this poster and we can see that the background of this is white so let me set it to white so our poster will have a white background let's start looking at uh, shapes so i have this shape here and i have made it little complicated for you because i have two shapes one uh, color of true maroon and the other color is the loyal blue and i wanted you all to understand how you could make something like this not just a rectangle but in fact they are two separate elements so how can we do that so to do this uh, border that i have created what we need to do is in your elements on the left hand side keep elements and select shapes the second item which says lines and shapes and you can select this option which says see all okay and if you scroll through all of the elements you can find that i am probably using this angle element to create that shape so i want you all to use this element and uh, resize it so it is of the right dimensions whichever you want uh, let's say you want it of this size looks okay to me and then take it to the corner by using your mouse you can take it to the corner then move it down so that it reaches to the bottom and take it right till it fills the top horizontal shape so you should get something like this if you have any problems you will uh, put it in the chat so i could troubleshoot if anybody has any problems i am monitoring the chat my frame body is much wider and i know why that's why i was uh, so what happens is let me try and show it to you again if you take this border you see the border is very big and if you just use it as it is 
and as you start dragging it like if you start dragging it becomes bigger and bigger and you don't want that so what you do is you resize it till you get the border shape the size that you want let's say i want it like this and stop and then use the this handles not the corner but the bottom handle to take it down and the right handle to this way the borders doesn't change i hope that solves your problem anastasia next what we are going to do is we are going to do the other side from right to bottom and i don't want to create another shape what i will do is i will use the same shape and i'll show you now how to copy shapes how to copy shapes so what you do is you click on this shape and you can say right click and copy so you can copy it then you can say right click and paste so you have two shapes now right so you have two shapes but we want to move the shape in the opposite direction and you will find a small corner handle here which allows you to rotate the shape like this and i want you all to learn how to rotate shapes so you get something like this and once you rotate it you can change the color to true maroon now you might be wondering kaji what's what's the code how are you clicking on this and getting the color no problem what i will do is let me just type the codes in here so that you can refer to them i'll just type the code i'll remove them afterwards so maroon is let me see what is maroon 772432 that's the maroon and if you want the loyal blue it is 4165 so what you do is when you want to change the color of any item click on it click this button which says color and you can change you can type the color code that you see on the screen there you can say 4004165 it will change to that color you will get the color here and click on it it will change if you want to make it 772432 it will bring the color click on it it will change the color now what i want you all to do is to make sure how to rotate the shape uh, there is when you click on any shape you will get this handle here i don't know whether you can see it uh, let me see if i can make it uh, you you see this like a shape small handle that allows you to rotate the shape like this i hope you can see it so any object that you create by the way even if it is uh, even if it is for example this uh, number if i want to rotate it when you click on that shape you will see this object that you can move it around like this and so that's how we can change the shape and as you change the shape it will show you the angle the degree so if you know your geometry you should be able to say 90 degrees that's perfectly vertical or if it is 180 degrees it's upside down 270 it's on the other side or in this case it's showing minus 90 and zero which means the original shape you can change like this okay let me change this angle a little little bit right now what i want you all to do is i want you all to click on the share button so on top we have something called share okay and we have an option here saying share copy link okay and there is an option here it says share a link to edit i want you all to change it to view share a link to view and click copy link and i want you to post that link in the chat because then i will be able to see what you have done now if you click on the link in the chat you will see exactly my design on your screen Anita Roy Let's see what Anita Roy has done. Perfect. So you can see Anita Roy has done this shape exactly what I have done. Excellent. Anybody else wants to try? Mina Cho. Excellent. Right. So we have already trainers in the meeting. 
So if anybody has any doubt, we have a lot of you all who are very quick to follow and understand what's going on and probably you all are experts in your field already. So let's go to the logo and I'll show you how to bring the logo into our design. Now to bring the logo, the easiest way I have found is to go to your Toastmasters website, toastmasters.org, go to the resources and click on brand portal. In the brand portal, you will find the logo and design elements and all the latest logos are available. And one thing I want to make uh, clear to uh, everyone is that if you had old logos or old elements, stop using them. Only use what you can find in this website now. Okay, this is the latest one. And if you want to bring the logo, let's say you want to bring the color logo. This is here, color logo. Use always PNG because PNG is a higher quality logo. It will open like this. And the fastest way to get this logo into Canva is to right click on it and say copy image. So right click on the anywhere on the image and say copy image. Then come to Canva and press Control V. So come to Canva and press Control V and then you can resize it to whatever size you want and place it here. So that's the fastest way to get logo from Toastmasters into your Canva design. So we have seen now how to rotate, how to change the colors and how to bring the logo into our design. Let's move to the next element, which is uh, this two lines of uh, actually we'll do all three. So we have some text, we have some text and we have a link that can automatically open Facebook. So we are going to learn how to do all this three. So let's first start with the heading. I want you to put a text box here saying leading ladies and to add text you will go to your text box you can choose it doesn't matter whether you say heading you just select one of the text elements and drag it here and I want to change it to leading ladies now that brings us to something called fonts what kind of fonts we can use in a Toastmaster design. Let's quickly go to the brand manual. So as we can see, we can use a font called Gotham. And if we don't have the font called Gotham, then instead of Gotham, we can use Montserrat. So where do we use Go Gotham? The Gotham font is uh, used for headlines and subheadings. So whenever you want to have a headline on the top, uh, the highlight, the main text, use Gotham. And the other font that we can use is called Myriad Pro. And where do we use Myriad Pro? For any text that you want to type, so body text or anything related to the material that you are going to put in your design, use Myriad Pro. Unfortunately, Gotham and Myriad Pro are expensive fonts. You have to pay for them. And because Toastmasters knows as clubs we cannot afford to buy fonts, they have given us an option to use uh, Montserrat whenever you were supposed to use Gotham and to use So Sans Pro whenever we were supposed to use Myriad Pro. So the equivalent fonts are Myriad Pro is So Sans Pro and Gotham is Montserrat. So let's go back to our design and see what font we should be using here. It says Open Sans font, which is clearly not a brand font. So I need to change this font to click on the text box so that it is highlighted and click on this arrow and choose. If you, if you don't see the Montserrat there, you can type Montserrat. You can just type Montserrat like this. This is the name. You'll get all the Montserrat combinations. And you can use any one of them. It is not necessary that you should use classic or this. I can use classic. This is fine. I like it. If you want extra bold, you are free to use that. Any one of these typefaces is cool. I will go for classic. 
and you all will get extra points if you follow exactly what i do but you can do the others also uh, it looks too big i can always resize it and there are different ways you can resize one is to simply use the arrow key to make it small or big like this and the other thing is to directly type the number like if you it is right now 44 you want to make it 48 you can make it like this so different ways you can resize i like to use the mouse because it gives me a visual feel of how big i want that text to be so i have the first text the right font montserrat and possibly the color 004165 loyal blue i will make it loyal blue so it looks exactly like that okay i'll add one more line for this information i can put it in the chat if you all want to just copy and paste it instead of trying to read what is there so the second line should have this information club number and the font color is true maroon which is 772432 so let's do that i will paste the same text here so to change the text i'll remove this and i will control v so i get the same information that i had pasted in the chat resize the way you want it and if you want it on one line hold this handle and 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 make it vert horizontally longer so it becomes like this and the font that I want here is So Sans Pro. The font for this should be So Sans Pro. Again, click on the arrow. You can type So Sans Pro. This is the one. And the color is True Maroon. Yes. Um, there was a question what happens if you try to. Uh, if you hold the logo and you try to make like this, it becomes kind of uh, messed up. So my suggestion, whenever you are dealing with logo, make sure that you only use the corner handles to make it the right size. Otherwise, it's quite difficult to get it back into its shape. It might be faster to just bring it back and hold the corner and then drag it and resize it only the corner for the logo we are 33 yeah we are well on time we'll complete this whole thing plus some extra things don't worry i want to do it slow and easy minacho well done you're on your way in the first position i think anita rao well done let's see what we have to do next is uh, how to do this i want to create a link and if i click on this link it should take me to our facebook page which as you may know is uh, leading ladies so they have a facebook page so when they click on that poster i want them to come directly to this so this is the link i want i will post it in the chat but the way I want it to be done is like this. I don't want that link here. I want the words to be click here to check our Facebook. But when they click on it, it will take us to this Facebook page. How do we do that? First of all, let me bring a text box. First thing I want to make is it is so Sans Pro, brand compliant. And then click here to, what did I say there? To check our Facebook. Okay, again, please resize it to a suitable size. As we move any object, you will notice some lines appearing. We, sh we can use those lines to precisely align the text. So when you see this pink line, the pink vertical line, it means it is centered with the previous objects. So it looks nice and aligned. Use those lines to guide you where to place your objects once we do that once we have the line here once we have the text here 
what you need to do is click on this option called link on the top corner there is a small symbol there called link and in that link you post that text which is facebookpage.com slash leading ladies this is what I have posted in the chat and apply okay. so it becomes a link a small caveat about links when you create any poster with a link it will only work if you save it as a PDF file not as a JPG so if you save your design as a PDF file and you share the PDF file people will be able to go to your to your Facebook or even to your zoom meeting you can embed your zoom link for example in the PDF file so when you share the PDF file they click on it to say join the meeting it will automatically bring them into zoom how cool is that so you can do that by using this link option next we come to images and I want to have two images one of uh, something like this and one of a beautiful coordinator tabasum you will ask me okay where do I get these images okay tabasum you can just take a picture of her she's smiling you know you can just take a screenshot and use it or if you want this particular picture I will share it also no problem but first let's find out about this image okay so when it comes to brand compliant images Toastmasters is very clear about what kind of images we should use and one of the biggest problems that I find whenever I see people posting is they will try to match their meeting theme so they have a theme let's say festival and they'll create an image of festivals or they'll say it's a children's day and then they'll bring the pictures of children and post put it in the poster but what does the guidelines for images say it says the photography should reflect Toastmasters environment where people look engaged empowered and supported as in a meeting or presentation or speeches or networking so Toastmasters uh, brand content should always be focused on what we are we are not about festivals though it might be a theme of that meeting but we are about building leaders we are about improving our communication so it should convey that as a brand it's like McDonald's when you see that yellow sign anywhere in the world you know what kind of food you will get there so when you see this kind of images this kind of uh, colors you know if you that represents leadership that represents communication so that's what we we should avoid using images that are landscape animals children food medicine architecture all this we should avoid also no cartoons illustrations clip arts and so forth so having said that how do we get the best images in my opinion the best images are the images of your club if you have club members showcase them ask them to send them uh, your uh, photos once we start meeting in person start taking pictures of uh, your club meetings and use those photos if not Toastmasters has paid for and provided for us free all this uh, professional images so all we have to do is again go to Toastmasters website go to resources go to brand portal and go to professional images now when you click on here you will find all these images available there are maybe several dozen images I will give bonus points if you can find exactly this image and bring it into the uh, design and the way we do that is you cannot use con uh, copy and paste for images unfortunately I will show you how to do that so let's say we reach this point where we found these images sorry and I have to f find that particular image anyway let me bring one image but I will ask you all maybe to try and search for that particular image that uh, we had there and when you find all of these images let's say I want to bring 
this image. Let me move myself from the... You will find here at the bottom this arrow pointing saying download. At the bottom corner, click on that and you should get an option to download different versions of this high quality, medium quality, depending upon your need. So if you want only a small size image, you could just say, I want a medium size and download it. Once it is downloaded on your computer, depending on where it has been stored, uh, let me just move it to the desktop so it's easy for me to remember. So I put it on my desktop, this image. Once you have downloaded it and, and brought it here, then we can go to Canva and click on Upload. Images and Upload Media. Choose Device and where we had downloaded that image, you will find it in the desktop. That's where I had put it and click Open. Once it is loaded, it will appear here. We can now bring it into our design. As I said, if you could identify, no, it's okay. Don't waste your time finding this particular image. Uh, whatever you find close to that is good enough for me. Bring that image here. Regarding the image of uh, the basum, I will upload it here in the chat. But don't put a, a basum's image as yet because uh, We will do it afterwards. Anybody wants to share up to now what we have done? I want to see we are, whether we are on the right track, at least many of you all. Hazem. Okay, he's put uh, Tabasum's image also. He's ahead of me. He's copying the previous uh, elements without giving instructions. So he wants to be in the first place, I think, by all means. Excellent. Who was this? Anastasia or was it Zaki? You found that image. Well done. Next is I will show you how to use this Tabasum's image into inside a frame because as you can see it is uh, not just an image, it's, there is a frame. And the reason I want you all to do that is because in the elements if you go you can search for graphics or you can simply type here frames anything you want you can search for graphics or you can search for frames press enter and you get all these frames that we can use the frame that I'm looking for is this one it has a border and it has a frame where I can put the picture and we can resize it to whatever size I want And once you have placed the frame, and I want that color to be in true maroon, that should be easy. Once you place the frame, then you can go to your uploads, upload the photo of the basum that I have put in the chat, or any other photo of the basum if you have, no problem, I don't mind. Then drag, after you upload it, drag it and put it inside the frame like this. Next, we will do this shape and this text, which is slightly rotated. I think you all know how, how to do this already. So we need one shape here, which is uh, a star shape. And then we need a text. And then we need to rotate that text. And later on, I'll show you how to group both these objects together. So first, I need to place elements and select shapes lines and shapes and select all one of the shape you'll find is a star shape here it is star shape drag it here the color is yellow the yellow color let me just mention here what is the yellow color in case you all don't know it the yellow is f2 df74 happy yellow 
So you need to make this color happy yellow by clicking on this and changing it to happy yellow. Then we need to go to the text and add one text box here. Change the text to So Sans Pro. And we can type this text. I can put it in the chat if you all want. So you can just copy and paste this text. How do we do that? Uh, just type it here. Control copy paste and then resize it so the size is small and I think all of you all know how to rotate the text look at this handle over here and rotate it to whatever degree you want I'll give you one minute to get the shape and the text once you have placed both these objects together what I want you all to do is I want you all to learn how to group objects because what happens otherwise things move around and then you look oh where it was supposed to be here and you waste time so once two objects or three objects are in the right place that you that you want like this, uh, it's perfect, exactly where I want. I want you all to group the objects. How do we group objects? You select the first object, let's say the star. Hold the shift key and then when, when you hold the shift key, click on the second object. Both the objects are selected and when you select both the objects like this, you can see the lines blue on top automatically an option will come called group. Click on the group option and now in fact both the objects are together. You can move them around, you can resize them as if they are one object. At any point you decide, oh I want to uh, you know, disconnect them, I want to ungroup them. Very simple, click on the object and automatically the option here changes to ungroup. Group and ungroup. So do that and then you are able to place it in the right place. Next let's move on to this object which is a shape with uh, some kind of an accent. Let's search what the shape is. Let's go to elements, shapes and the shape is probably here this one I believe. Is it this one? Yes. It's here. This is the shape you want. Make it whatever size you want. Like this. And see the colors. The cool grey and the loyal blue. I have not put the cool grey color as yet. Let me put that color. The cool grey color is A9, B2, B1. So this color should be cool gray and this color should be loyal blue. And if you all are worried, what happened to my star? Why did it went, go behind? Well, how can I bring it in front? This is where you learn about taking things behind or bringing things forward. So if I want to, if I click on this shape, and if I click position on top here, I can say take it backwards because I want my star to come forward. And this is how you will bring it here. Let me, instead of you typing all this text, let me put it in the chat if you all want to quickly copy and paste it. Very simple, again bring a text box here and copy paste the whole thing here like this. Resize it, maybe make it smaller. It is currently showing center. I want to change the alignment of this to be in the left side. So to do that, when you click on the box anywhere, you have this option here called alignment. You can say align left, sorry, you can first of all select all the text like this and say align left. Okay, you can align to the cen uh, center, you can align to the right, but we want it to the left. So left, center, right, you can do like that. Secondly, what I want is, I want slight uh, space between these words. I want more space. To do that, we will use 
this option called spacing. Click on the spacing and we can increase the line spacing like this. We can increase the letter spacing also if you want. So play around with the letter spacing and the line spacing till you get exactly the look that you want. Anybody wants to share? I'm more than looking forward to see what you all have done. Wow, Olivia. Just align the text to the left. As I explained to you, very well done. Is this really cool gray? Can you check this color, please? It doesn't look cool gray to me. Just check the color code. It should be A9B2B1. So finally, we have uh, this text here, the date and the time. It's a simple text box. So just put a text box, put a date, let's say August 2 to September. I can put it in the chat if you all want to copy it. And the color is maroon, true maroon, which is uh, 772432. Also, we have a text here. Again, it should be very simple for you all to do because it's a text box. Type this details, register, and then rotate it with whatever 45 degrees, I guess, should be fine. And finally, we have some text which says, uh, put the name, Tabasum Ali and some text like this and one more text and we are done just rearrange everything to look neat and this is the final result of what we are covering for today we have covered a lot of things though it looks like we haven't we have learned how to rotate objects we know learn how to format the text grouping objects and so forth what I want you all to do is, once this design is finished, I will give you all maybe four, three to four minutes. Just play around. And the final design, please post it in the chat. I will review it after this session. And I will inform Tabasum and the team at Leading Ladies, who I believe has done the best brand compliant design. And when you leave the meeting today, Please fill up the survey, putting your email ID and your name. It will come automatically, the survey. And then if you've won today, then you will receive the certificate. One of the things that I wanted to cover was the gradient, since I have a few minutes more. Let me show it to you what I meant by gradients. So if you were creating a new design like this, Toastmasters now allows you to use this gradients. And in Canva, if you want to use gradients, you can click on elements and here you can type gradients. You'll find plenty of gradients that are available, but we can't use all of this. There are only few we can use. And sometimes it's difficult to find that gradient. This is the one. It looks like this in shape. If you bring it here, you will see that you can change the two colors of the gradient. So if I want to change the first color, and the gradient colors, by the way, are different. They are not the primary colors, all of them. This is the colors, but for the gradients, we have this combination. Like for example, if I want to make it maroon, it's one color is 3B10104. So I can change the first color by typing it here. The first color. And the second color is 781327. You'll find these color codes in your brand manual. Okay. So this color, I can make it... Uh, so this is a gradient. Then what we can do is we can, if I want this as a background for my design, I can move it to the corner like this and then drag the corner to kind of fill the whole design. And once you do that, to make sure that it doesn't move around here and there when you are designing, click on this button which says lock. So once you lock that gradient, 
that's it it will not move now you can start playing with the rest of the objects you can bring for example shapes you can place them and you can put text and so forth and the gradient will remain as your background talking about newsletters i can cover it in a very short period one minute so when we say create design we can search for the templates like newsletter you'll find different newsletters right so if you just say start with a newsletter it will give you a blank form like this but on the left hand side you'll have all the newsletter options so suppose you like this this kind of design right let's say i want my first page to look like this of course this is not brand compliant but you start with the design and then what we do is we change it to brand compliance by simply changing for example the font we know it should be montserrat for example and we know the color should be one of the brand colors so already i have started making it brand compliant replace the images with something else replace the text with something else then say add page then go back for the second page see what you like maybe you like the same uh, design from the same template put it there change the text change the font change the pictures and that way you really don't have to do a lot of thought process to make uh, uh, newsletters use the templates and then change them to fit the toastmaster brand compliant but if you are doing it for your own use not for toastmasters go crazy with all the templates that are available for you job daniel you ask me how do i match my theme to my toastmaster content and the answer i normally give to vpprs is don't obsess over themes because themes and toastmasters don't go hand in hand if you try to make a design for your theme very high chances that it will not be brand compliant if you say you have a theme which says uh, let's have fun okay the best thing i can tell you is to take a picture or find a photo of course it should be um, from the either toastmaster website or from your club or it should be from one of the copyright uh, in 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 uh, canva we have something called pixels and pixabay these are free images so if you say for example pixels right search for a something like fun meeting and see how well it would match with the toastmaster branding so as vppr always focus on toastmaster branding try as much as possible if you want to include themes either include it as fun text elements or something like that but not as images so what i was saying is that uh, in in canva we have an option here called pixels and pixabay you can search any images here in one of this they are free images copyright free and you can easily use them without any problem so you just have to search for anything that you want leadership right so something like that it's fine something like this is not fine so you have to be careful about what you put here absolutely fine and so forth so people networking people communicating uh, is okay thank you so much dtm cadetan for that amazing presentation the honestly speaking this is the third time i have attended uh, your workshop and each time i find it is something totally new different excellent engaging element so thank you thank you so much from uh, from our core leading ladies team members and with that i would request all of you if you can please put your cameras on let's take a picture with our presenter